Hello, this is Hakuna Bean, and today I am here with r slash Tumblr. If you enjoyed today's video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Let's get right into this. It can be difficult to understand just how routine-oriented cats can be if you've never owned one. If my oven timer goes off and I'm slow responding to it, my cat will run and fetch me and lead me right to it. Because if you think it means human is supposed to go into the kitchen, and are they the only ones around here, here who give a dang about the rules? One night, my partner decided to stay up and play video games while I got an early night sleep. <laughs> And the cat responded this to this by running from the bedroom to the living room yelling because only one human had gone to bed. And so is it bedtime or not, humans? Make up your minds. This is no way to run a household. <laughs> what the heck did I just do? Not what I wanted to do, that's for sure. Anyway. Do lighthouses have Wi-Fi? I feel like I'd be a great fit to work in a lighthouse. I love the sound of waves. I hate people. I look great in a cable net. A, a cable net turtleneck. I'm a terrific brooder. I would freaking go suppressed. This is a McDonald's. I lived and worked in a, in a lighthouse at a previous job. There was a thick line painted in a circle around the shack where the these fog signal was kept. The line represented how close you got. You could get to the fog signal without experiencing physical harm in the form of eardrum shattering or worse. Even in the house, it was loud. Probably the loudest thing I have ever experienced, but at a normal predictable in interval. You begin to type your sentence with low pauses with the rest of the lighthouse crew so you would hog like, like this while making your hard tea and then carry on talking go because you knew when it would go off. It rattled the walls and the dishes in our cabinet. At least one girl died there. They kept photos of her ever in honor of her sacrifice. Because she had decided to take the winter watch alone and died in a storm where Bounders the size of minivans and we lifted out of the ocean and left scattered across the island to say nothing of the ice chunks. People weren't allowed to be alone on the watch after that. One day a dead moose washed up on shore and it took my entire crew all day. I managed to rig up a line to hang it up to dry because we thought having a moose skeleton in the house would really spice the living room up a bit. It did. Richard happens when six six of you are left alone like alone alone. No cell reception, no Wi-Fi, just radio to connect, to contact the real world. And not a lot of reason to do that. People don't go on lighthouse those jobs if they want to stay connected, I found. That said, I do it all again. I already do treasure those days. Again. What the heck? We really are incapable of saying normal stuff on the internet. <laughs> Laptop overheating? Pour water on it to cool it down. I trusted you. Do not trust people like me. I'll take you to museums and parks and monuments and kiss you in every beautiful place so you can never go back to them without tasting me like blood in your mouth. I will destroy you in the most beautiful way possible. And when I leave, you will finally understand why storms are named after people. I freaking love that. That is so similar. You're taking everything I say out of context. You're trying to make people think I think Coolsville sucks. All Fred Jones had to say was I think Coolsville sucks. The most accurate depiction of the press and the people on the right I have ever seen.
I jerk off every time I have a cord of a bowl of cord flakes to ensure Kellogg doesn't win. <laughs> Subs are so fun to play with. All you have to do is hint at what you might I do or back them into a quarter with a look. I grab the rest in a certain way and they're a wide eyed mess. Fuck us, somewhere are you going to? Subs two teachers do with so much shit. Has <laughs> he ever dubbed anybody but to eat your own own eggs, I guess. Never treated a submarine like that, but I might. <laughs> what if Greg heavily had the death note? He would open a phone own book and just start writing. Honestly, after I get rid of bigots, I probably would do the same. Just bored and have this stupid magical power to ooh, end life. What else would you do? What's the most harmful idea of capitalism? Under capitalism, a tree holds no value until it is cut down. Capitalism only values nature by how it can be exploited. 71% of Bhutan's territory is covered in forests, with a contribution of only about 2% into GDP per year. The forest sector remains un Underutilized, how can the country sustainably invest in its forests? The World Bank is upset that Amazon's old growth forests are just staying there doing nothing when they could be turned into IKEA furniture. Case in point. Who would replies if I replies be like, but what about fruit trees and camping grounds? Yes, that's very much my point. Trees are only a viable if you can make money of off them or hijack them for human activities, rather than because they literally sustain life on Earth. In capitalism eyes, everything is but a tool for a resource or a resource to make profit. Workers and nature alike. A forest is not inherently valuable to capitalists. Individual people are treated as human resource and labor for eight to thirteen hours per day, most days of their life, although they're physically too old to continue. We will, uh, we will only attain a better world where nature and people become inherently valuable rather than something to exploit. This is all completely true. Take a note, CEOs. You have no oh, actual value. Nature has more value than you to oh, oh, humanity. The sun rises over Earth in a postcard that was read by Soviet com uh, as cosmonaut uh, Alexei Ilyanov, recalling the 1965 mission when he became the first person to when he became the first human to walk in space. Alexei Ilyanov was a prolific and talented artist who drew and painted many pictures inspired by his experience in space. I feel like I've read this before. This particular picture is rather special though, because he drew the first draft for it while in space using color pencils he took with him. The first walk in space coincided with the first art in space. Humans literally can't not do art. Wait, hold on. I think I need a moment. Wait, 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 hold on. I need a moment. I need to sit down. I think, wait, hold, hold on, wait, please, I'm breaking down, hold on, wait, <laughs> that's a good meme, Re relay will move. Free trip to heaven inside, detail, uh, free trip to heaven, details inside. Pretty much. American churches we like. What the heck? 
Okay, who the fuck named Loading Circle Throbbers? Why is it throbbing? What fucking guy named it this? A throbber, also as a loading icon, is an animated graphical control element used to show that a computer cra program is performing an action in the background, such as unknown contact, conducting intensive calculations, or communicating with an external device. In contrast to progress bar, a throbber does not uh, indicate how much of the action has been completed. Why is it a throbber? I'm fucking mad. I don't want anything throbbing on my website. She throb on my sights until I load. No. Just no. What the he heck? What the fuck? No. I don't want IKEA minimalism in my house. I want whatever the fuck how Pendragon had going on. What the hell? Yeah, I want that too now. <sighs> Alpha Dragony and Dwarf and, and Dragony and Orf and Drag Orc and Dragony are like three very different forms of a Dragony and Defiance of the Binary, and they're also good. Elf. Everyone's prick itty, but has no ass. Dwarf, everyone's hairy, but has no ass. Orc, everyone's shredded and can crack walnuts between their cheeks. Goblin and Dragony, you're small and horrible and you're pretty certain that gender was a kind of beetle you ate last week. Thought I told YouTube to stop recommending me game theory videos already, but this thumbnail, it's almost funny, but I'd be funny, but it'd be funnier if the irrelevant YouTube rebate games were aired out. Out actually, one second. I killed them? Yes, game theory, you killed, um, Hello Neighbor and Bendy's Ink Machine. They wanted more theories so they don't want to explain their games or make the games how they were originally going to. Oh my goodness. In the interrogation room. Turnabout theorists. Okay. Girls don't like boy. I, I used, girls like the Starship Enterprise. I guess boys come clean then. They like the Starship. Enterprise as well. Let's not pursue each other and instead pursue peace and acceptance of all sides of life so that we can boldly go where no one has gone before. What if we don't like Starship Enterprise? What if we don't like space? Space is scary. Life is scary. Life in space is terrifying. I will world only go hide in a cave with my tin hat. Thank you. Come on, Bones. It'll be fun. No. I don't want to go to space. I am so sick of Star Wars. Why do you charge money for your art? Big fan of eating. This is actually really funny. In high school, my humanities teacher told us a story about one of the Europe trips he had gone on, on with his school a few summers past. So him and a, a group of kids were in the middle of Rome and the tour guide had gotten lost. And they could figure out how to get to some church they were going to see. All of a sudden, one of these students, like, all the such of stuff. He says he knows where he goes, like, walking around the streets, taking back roads and side streets, and within 20 minutes, they're at the church they need to get to. My teacher asks the kid if he has ever been to Italy before. He says no. He just knew where to go because he played Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. Honestly, I need to get better at exploring Italy in Assassin's Creed. I just go over to rooftops and that, and I'm quite sure that you're not really supposed to do that. One, I walk into Build a Bear. Two, I stick my mouth on the fluff nozzle. Three, crank it up to eleven. Four. Eats so much stuffing. Five. I am forcibly removed from Build-A-Bear. 
I'm satisfied with my snack. I go home. I am Goblin. Hello, everybody, and welcome to my morning routine. What the heck? Brutus, your fate in Caesar's misplaced. One day, you're going to have to decide whether Caesar's your your Caesar's man or your own. I'm screaming, Xenokasi, Ides of March. God forbid women do anything. <laughs> Forward edict, Twitter. It keeps the flag about safe party from what I can gather. I'm in any character who doesn't look like this. What? Oh, this again. I'm always up for doing this again. Me, holding a gun to a mushroom. Tell me the name of God, you fungal piece of shit. Mushroom. Can you feel your heart burning? Can you feel the struggle within? The fear within me is beyond anything your soul can... And, and make. You cannot kill me in a way that matters. Me, cocking in the gun, tears streaming down my face. I'm not fucking scared of you! Hey, OP, what the fuck does this mean? Decay exists as an extent form of life. That's a terrifying answer! Have a nice day! Hmm. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay. New theory. Maybe we should play so quietly no one can hear us. Well, maybe. We wouldn't sound so bad if some people then try to play with big meaty claws. What? Did you say, punk? Big. Meaty. Claws. Well, these claws ain't just for attracting mates. Bring it on, old man. Bring it on. No, people. Let's be smart and bring it off. Oh, so now the talking cheese is gonna preach to us. <laughs> it's such a rip off that flowers don't taste good. Spoken like a woman who's never used garlic blossom in a surf fry, had an elder flower, a fritter, or used calendula and anusertium in a salad. I have not, but I'm going to now. Add pigs of the, of the tasty flower. Here's please. Isn't that... What's the plant called? Tough amaranth from Breath of... Of the wild and tears of the kingdom? Fine. Oh. Please. Work. Why do you not work? Still a fan to that cup of soup now? 
Yes, because I'm fully aware that liquids like salt solidify when you reduce their temperature and you fucking the food. I'm so confused as to what I'm supposed to find up saying about this. Like, I get it looks very industrial, but why is it, why is that bad? This person supposed to use to take cans of soup or portals to artisan kitchens where teams of chefs had prepared your, a damn alphabet noodles. It's the fact that we live in a society which can deliver fully prepared, non-perishable meals and can be in containers for 99 cents at your local a oh, wind dixie somehow insufficiently fantastic for you? Whoa, for a second there, I thought ca Anvils came out with scented in candles. <laughs> what? You guys are Jeff the killing me. Oh, girl, I've been drowning. Slenderman. Slenderman does whatever a slender can. Alright, this might be the last one because it looks like a long one. So you've had this problem before. Create your YouTube search and recommendations. Tell them you had this problem before. You click on some video, any video looking at something positive, and all of a sudden you're spammed with dozens of negative videos and recommendations. And no matter how many not interested or don't recommend channel that you click, YouTube still forces them on you. Or maybe you're looking for something in YouTube search, but you get too much clickbait videos or hate watch videos, and you have to scroll through everything. We will have used different tags to force them into your search options, giving you a ton of options that aren't related to what you are searching for. Wouldn't, be, wouldn't it be nice if you could block these channels and videos the same way you block people on social media? Unfortunately, YouTube's existence relies on ad revenue exclusively. Hence why their channel blockers won't work, ad reporting channels or videos won't accomplish anything if those channels and videos don't harm YouTube's reputation or ad revenue. The larger channel gets the less chance of YouTube taking action against them. Hence why very large hate channels and videos will swarm into searches. Blocktube. Blocktube uses you control over what content you see on YouTube. Now you can easily get rid of those annoying videos or channels. That looks incredibly unsafe. Fortunately, there are tools called browser extensions or add-ons that allow you to have your browsers be able to add that specific block button option. But wouldn't it be nice if we didn't have to look for those tools? Why do we need such an option? Why can't YouTube give us that option in the first place? In any case, the resources do exist, you just have to look for them on Google Search. Blogtube is one such tool, and you can look it up on Google Search to confirm what I have shown here. I don't have or phones, you'll, you'll need something called YouTube Vance, also researchable on Google. Credit goes to this person. I'm just sick and tired of YouTube not doing a thing about a glaring problem on its increasingly problematic platform. Edit there are people who are upset with Hogwarts Legacy, a game that uh, at, at, at I'm not watching anyone who plays is it, it anymore because uh, as I now know where they freaking stand on trans rights and and trying to end any certain genocide of our people these tools are for you no telling people that they're 
or, or um, bad take is bad. It's not harassment. Not dealing with silver is so or fails vs. Actually, I think that's it. That's fun. If you enjoyed today's video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Who knows what I'm going to be doing tomorrow? I sort of don't, because I don't know what I'm doing today. But and if you liked the video, please leave a like. Did I already say this? Whatever. If you liked the video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I will see you tomorrow, but until then, goodbye!